RPM planning is a way to maximize the results of your life and maximize your sense of fulfillment and joy. It's both. In order to do that, we gotta change what we focus on from the question of what do I have to do to what's my outcome? What do I want? What's most important to me? What's the result I'm committed to getting? That one change will change completely how you respond in your life because it'll change you from focusing where everyone's demanding your attention or what you're afraid of or what might give you pleasure in the moment to what's most important to you. And those, by the way, are the three things that get our focus. If we don't discipline ourselves, what gets our focus? Something we're afraid of, something that give us pain. What's the second thing that gets our focus? If we don't pay attention. Something will give us pleasure. It's like, you know what, I'm so stressed out. Oh, that chocolate's looking good. Oh, that, you know, I'm gonna go over to have my little coffee, you know, at my smoke and mocha doko cream, this thing and that thing, and I'm gonna escape for a few moments. Because the focus is how to feel good. How to not feel bad, how to feel good. What's the third thing gets your focus? Other people's demands. It's not necessarily there are more demands, it's just that we're accessible to more demands. And if you don't know what you want, and you don't know why it's a must for you to achieve it, and you don't have a plan, I can promise you something. You're gonna fit in everybody else's plan. And you're gonna wonder why you're stressed. And you're gonna wonder why I'm not fulfilled. What is time? How do you know when it's a long time? Or how do you know when it's a short time? It's not because it's 10 minutes or 10 hours. How many have been in 10 hours and time flew because you loved what you're doing, didn't have any sense of time whatsoever? How many have had that experience? Say aye. How many have had 10 minutes feel like 10 years you want to kill somebody to get out of the situation? <laughs> so what is time? Time is emotion. Got to remember that time is emotion. What you're really managing is emotion. Another word for that would be meaning or fulfillment. Focus is power, but you got to take it. Take it back. Take back that power. And you got to know when you do have that focus, how to chunk it, how to group it so you're not overwhelmed. Let me show you how to make it simpler. When mass information's coming at you, you get overwhelmed. Most of us are great deletion creatures. We delete most of life. Right now, there are millions of things around you you could be focusing on, thinking about, giving meanings to, making decisions about what to do. Millions. And when you think about what it's going to take to do something, usually it takes a lot, and you're not going to want to do it. Do I'll do it when? Later. later. As my Australian friends would say, later. <laughs> Right? And of course, the problem with doing it tomorrow is when you get to tomorrow, tomorrow is today, and tomorrow never comes. So, and you keep promising yourself. By the way, what does this do to you emotionally when you keep breaking your own promises with yourself? Or you keep failing to do things that you know are important? Does it increase your level of certainty and confidence? No. What it does is it erodes it. And when you erode confidence in one area, believe it or not, it affects the other areas too. Do you believe me on that? Don't believe me, what about your own life experience? Maybe not one area, but it starts to be multiple areas, it sure does. Another reason why somebody doesn't exercise or do anything is because they don't just chunk it too big, they chunk it in too many details. So remember this, remember this. Change is never a matter of ability, it's always a matter of motivation. I'll say that again. Change is never a matter of ability. It's always a matter of motivation or drive, having strong enough reasons. If you got a strong enough reason, you could figure out the time, couldn't you? So the biggest part of life and time management is knowing what you want and having enough reasons to follow through. But there is one more piece. If you make enough reasons to follow through and you know what you want, but you make the task overwhelming, you'll be overwhelmed. What you focus on, you feel what you feel. You are moved to somehow actuate. But if you only focus on what you don't want, or what's stressful in your life, what you can't control, or what you screwed up on, or what you messed up on in the past, you're not gonna get where you wanna be. Chunking is power. You don't wanna overchunk where you're trying to bite the whole darn thing together. You also don't wanna underchunk where you make a million pieces of something. What is chunking? It's taking all that's coming at you and putting it into idealized size groups that your mind can handle. See, science has proven the human brain, consciously we can only handle what they call seven plus or minus two chunks of information. It's a term that they describe in science, that human beings can only handle seven plus or minus two chunks of information at one time. 